Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video, I'm speaking about how you can utilize Facebook ads for your Wix website. So the tips I'm sharing in this video, you can utilize if you're not using a Wix website, but I'm going to be producing videos specific to platforms now as well. So if you're a Shopify user or WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss when I put my Facebook tutorials out for those particular platforms. But Facebook and Wix can integrate and you can actually use Facebook ads to effectively promote some of your products and services on your Wix.com website. But the first thing that you want to do is install the Facebook Pixel. So I often get asked, Sam, why is the Facebook Pixel so important? Can I just run ads without having the Facebook Pixel installed? Now the short answer is yes, you can run ads without the Facebook Pixel being installed, but this is going to limit your success with Facebook ads. So with the Facebook Pixel, you can actually track the activity that's happening on your website. So what that means is when someone comes to your website as per clicking on your Facebook ads, you can track where they go, what purchases they make, and you can see all of this analytics within Facebook Ads Manager. So if you don't have the Facebook Pixel installed, you won't be able to see this data, and this data can really help you to improve your Facebook ad campaigns. So you're not wasting money on campaigns, and you're able to edit your campaigns and make improvements so that you can actually have a better return on investment. Facebook is also really good at determining where your customers are. So Facebook will use the Facebook pixel to determine where your customers are coming from and where your success is coming from via your Facebook ads and they can optimize your campaign over time to produce better results. But again, this can only happen if you have the Facebook pixel installed. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to your Wix website, go over to where it says settings and marketing and integrations. When you click on that, you want to scroll down to where it says Facebook and Instagram ads. You then want to scroll down to where it says Facebook pixel and CAPI. And here you can track conversions and measure the success of your Facebook campaigns. So you want to connect that and then you want to click where it says connect to Facebook. So one thing to note that this is a premium feature of Wix, so you will need to upgrade your Wix account if you haven't already in order to connect your Facebook pixel to your Wix.com website. But it will prompt you to log into your Facebook account. If it is the right Facebook account that you are currently logged into, then you can continue or you can choose to log in to a different account. So then it asks you to connect with Wix marketing tools to Facebook. So you need to grant permission and then click on continue. And then you can choose your business manager and your meta pixel and click on continue. And it says automatic advanced matching. So this is the use information your customers have provided for, for your business, such as email addresses or phone numbers to match your website visitors to people on Facebook. That's a really great way to target some of your subscribers. So I recommend keeping that on and then you can continue. And then it asks you what is Wix marketing tools allowed to do um, and it can manage your ads and manage business extensions. So you need to grant permission as well and then click on next. And then it starts to link in Wix marketing tools to Facebook. So it's as simple as that you're all set, now you can connect your website to Facebook, you can help more people discover your business, find people who are likely to buy your products and services, and measure the results of actions taken on your website, and then you can simply click on done. So once you've followed those steps, your Facebook pixel will automatically be on your Wix.com website. And the next step is to tell Facebook what your thank you pages are. So if you have a product, for example, that you're selling, when someone makes a purchase, they will land on what's known as a thank you page. And when someone enters their name or email address submitting a form on your website, then they will come to a thank you success page. So whenever someone successfully completes an action on your Wix website, whatever success page they land on, you need to submit that to Facebook so Facebook know that everybody seeing this page have either 
submitted their information as a lead for your business or they have made a purchase. So in order to do this, you need to go over to Facebook and you need to go to menu and you need to go to where it says ad and this should take you into the Facebook ads manager. And once you're in the Facebook ads manager, make sure you go to ads manager uh, down here. It will prompt you to create your ads here, but this is kind of a basic ad. You want to make sure you go into the advanced ads manager. So if you click on that, it will take you inside of Facebook ads manager where you can manage and create some of your ads more effectively. So usually the first thing to do would be to create your pixel, but Wix does that automatically for you. So literally you just need to make sure you are in the same Facebook account that you connected with your Wix and you should be able to go over here to where it says all tools and go over to where it says events manager. And then you can go over to where it says create and you can create what's known as a custom conversion. So here is where you tell Facebook what a conversion is on your website. So when you do create your campaigns on Facebook, you don't just wanna create campaigns that drive traffic, you actually wanna create campaigns that generate leads and sales for your business. So let's say for example, you were selling mugs on your website, maybe you name this conversion mug sales and you want all traffic to this particular URL to equal a conversion and you want the URL to contain whatever the success page is on your website. So for example, my website is daytips.com so my success page might be https www.daytips.com forward slash mug customer and one thing you have to note about when you're selling items on your website, the URL might not always be the exact same URL for every single customer. So when a customer comes to your website, they make a purchase and they land on your success page, the URL to that success page might be unique to each individual customer because everyone has a different customer ID number. So for example, I might purchase from my website and my customer ID number might be 4455. So this means the URL has to be daytips.com forward slash mug hyphen customer hyphen ID 4455. So every single person who makes a purchase from my website will land on this URL, but the ID number will be different. And in this circumstance, you want your URL to contain everything that everybody sees. So I will take out my unique customer ID number and as long as my customer lands on this page here, regardless of what their ID number is, Facebook will, will communicate that as a conversion. Now, in some cases, like for example, if you're promoting a page on your website via Facebook ads, that just requires a name and an email address, maybe you're doing lead generation, then the success page that everybody lands on will be exactly the same. So in that case, you can actually use URL equals and put the URL to the success page that everybody will land on. So hopefully that makes sense. This is mostly applicable to those of you who are selling physical products or if you're using Facebook ads to make sales, then just remember the URL that somebody lands on when they make a purchase from your website will be slightly different because of the customer ID number, but the URL will always contain something exactly the same and then there might be numbers at the end of it for the customer ID but as long as you're doing lead generation then everybody will land on the same success page URL and you need to reflect that when creating your custom conversion within Facebook. So that completes part one of this tutorial on creating effective Facebook ads for your Wix.com website. I do have other videos on creating Facebook ads and some of the things you want to keep in mind and I'll leave those videos in the description down below. If you really want to master Facebook ads, email marketing, SEO and all different types of marketing for your Wix website or whatever platform you're utilizing then make sure you join the day tips membership program details for that will be in the description down below you can access unlimited courses for marketing to help you to really boost your business to where it should be and also make sure
make sure you download the formula guys this is the free guide to generating leads and sales to your business online but i really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon